So we have Rob and we have Jane Rippey, which is awesome. And we have Rhonda, which is awesome. <laughs> we'll begin in just a moment. Um, and uh, straightforward morning prayer. And Cookie's going to do our readings, one from Exodus and one from the Gospel of John, which is Jesus' farewell talk to his disciples. Susan Engel has clock has reminded us what time it is <laughs> for some of you who may have joined late uh uh late in our um gatherings i wanted to make sure you all had met my friend rob wave rob rob, <laughs> Hi, everyone. rob lives in brooklyn rob and i worked together at saint bart's in new york and he provided music and and spiritual guidance uh for all the wayward clergy um, at that time, and he's just a great friend and a great guy and a great disciple and a great musician, and so he'll play for us a little bit. Cookie will read for us. I think we're in good shape, and I think it's 8 o'clock, so let's start. And Jay, I'm just, to say it now, I'm going to be reading out of the New International Version. Just, Why not? Okay. Let it rip. I will. So, anyway. Um, morning, Pierce. Okay. Um, everybody ready? Yep. Um, so after, so after opening sentences, we'll begin with the confession at page 79, but I bet you all know that. <clears throat> Let's start. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. Yeah. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. At page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in God, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Son, and 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 our Son, Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. 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 At page 80, Lord, open our lips, and our, and our mouth shall proclaim, mouth shall your, proclaim praise. your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, hey, Rhonda, do you have the prayer book in front of you? I do. Could you read the Ven Venite, page 82? Sure. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. We continue with the Psalms. The Psalm appointed for today, Psalm 18, verses 1 through 20, found at page 602. We'll read this as we have been by half verse. I'll read the beginning, and then after the asterisk, you all pick up with the second portion of the verse. The 18th Psalm, verses 1 through 20. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my strength, my prey, and my haven. My God, my rock, in whom I put my trust. My shield, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge. You are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord. 
and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, and the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress, and cried out to God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountain shook shook because of his anger. anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot Hot green coals coals forth from him. him. He parted the heavens and came down. With a storm cloud under his, under his feet. He mounted on cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. wind. He wrapped darkness about him. He made, he made dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds, first hailstones and coals of fire. fire. The Lord thundered out of heaven. The most high, high uttered his, his, voice. Voice. his voice. He loosed his arrows and scattered them. He hurled, he hurled thunderbolts, thunderbolts, thunderbolts and brought them. them. The beds of the seas were uncovered and the foundations of the world laid bare. At your battle cry, O Lord, the breath of your nostrils. He reached down from a high on high and grasped me. He drew he me drew out of the great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me. For they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster. But the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Okay, he's going to have our first reading. A reading from Exodus. While Aaron was speaking to the whole Israelite community, they looked towards the desert, and there was the glory of God appearing in the, in the cloud. The Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, at twilight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. That evening quail came and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the dew was gone, Thin flakes like frost on the ground appeared on the desert floor. When the Israelites saw it, they said to each other, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread the Lord has given you to eat. This is what the Lord has commanded. Each one is to gather as much as he needs. Take an un- for each person you have in your tent. The Israelites did as they were told. Some gathered much, some little, and they were measured, they measured it by the Omer. He who gathered much did, excuse he that gathered much did not have too much, and he that gathered little did not have too little. Each one gathered as much as he needed. Then Moses said to them, no one is to keep any of it until morning. However, some of them paid no attention to Moses. They kept part of it until morning, but it was full of maggots and began to smell. So Moses was angry with them. Each morning, everyone gathered as much as he needed. And when the sun grew hot, it melted away. On the sixth day, day, they gathered twice as much, two omers for each person. And the leaders of the community came and reported this to Moses. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. 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 Okay, mini sermon alert. 
that is a reading from uh, Exodus and God providing food for the children. And I just love this story. It says manna from heaven. Manna really means what is this stuff? And uh, people didn't know. But this is where in the Lord's Prayer we say, give us our our daily bread. I think it has its roots or its echoes in this story because they took just what they needed for the day, not more, not less. And uh, so when we pray, give us this day our daily bread, we ask, among other things, for contentment uh, and not greed. So um, with that, I'll turn it over to Rob, who's going to sing for us. And maybe everybody besides Rob can mute um, until we, after the Apostles' Creed. God has smiled on me. He has set me free, but I'm still grumbling, but I'm still singing it. God has smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. He is the source of all my joy. He fills me with his love. The grace that I employ, he sends down from above. God has smiled on me. God has set me free. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. A light unto my path is he. By strength when I would fall. He guides each day for me. God is my all in all. God has smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. God's been so good to me. A reading from John. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that they lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the father will give you whatever you ask in my name. This is my command, love each other. If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it will love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Remember the words that I spoke to you. No servant is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours, not only the one also, but they will treat you this way because of my name, for they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not be guilty of sin. Now, however, they have no excuse for their sin. 
He who hates me hates my father as well. If I had not done among them what no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin. But now that they have seen these miracles, and yet they had hated both me and my father. But this is to fulfill what is written in the law. They hated me without reason. When the counselor comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the spirit of truth who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me. And you also must testify, for you have been with me from the beginning. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. Just a moment of quiet, and then we'll continue with the Apostles' Creed, uh, page 96. You can remain muted for that. After that, um, uh, we'll offer our prayers. And uh, after our prayers, we'll hear again from Rob. So. With saints around the world and across the centuries, let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. At page 97, we continue with our prayers, having heard God's word. The Lord be with you. And also and also with you. With you. Let us pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy, name. thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, be done. On, earth on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us, give give us this day, day our daily bread. bread. Give us and our forgive us our, our, our trespasses. trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people, people sing with joy. joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only, only in you can we live in safety. safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And, and guide us in the way of way justice, of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help on all our nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Lord, the hope of the poor make it take away. away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We offer prayers for our church in a time of transition. <laughs> Almighty God, you know the needs of your church in every place. Look graciously upon the people of St. James Parish and grant us the guidance of your Holy Spirit as we move through the search process for a new rector. We thank you for <laughs> those who've agreed to serve on the search committee, and we pray for our new rector, whoever and wherever he or she may be, be preparing that person. Thank you for the faithful steward you have provided and will provide for our leadership. Give us discernment, wisdom, patience, and confidence in your timing. Help us to care for each other with mutual trust, respect, kindness, and clarity of purpose. You are the good shepherd, and we ask you to shepherd us through this journey. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. We pray for our church and our world in a time of pandemic and health crisis. 
We pray for the church that it may not grow weary of proclaiming the gospel of Christ and that it may serve as a beacon of hope to a suffering world. Praying for Michael, our presiding bishop, Rob, our bishop, Pierce, our interim rector, other clergy, staff, uh, wardens and vestry, and all who minister in your name. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all affected by the virus around the world, for leaders of nations that they may work together for the common good. Grant public health and government officials in our nation the strength and will to act swiftly and decisively with wisdom and compassion and service to all. We pray for our president and his staff, for the Congress, for governors and mayors. Lord, in your mercy. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they have access to care and regain their strength and health. Grant them your healing grace. Give strength to all who are caring for loved ones. We pray in thanksgiving for health workers who with hearts of service stand on the front lines of providing care. Grant them courage and protection as they put the needs of public safety before their own. Bless scientists and researchers around the world as they combat the virus, that their work may yield knowledge to develop a vaccine, treatments, and improved measures to reduce its spread. Lord, in your mercy. Pray for the safety and well-being of all who travel and those who remain quarantined. Remove the presence of fear and anxiety from our hearts that confident in your providence, we may be generous in sharing resources. Grant that our churches and communities of faith may reflect your love as they minister to the most vulnerable among us. Fill them with your Holy Spirit as they work to be your healing hands and feet to all in need. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who have already lost loved ones to the virus and those who will yet suffer such loss. We pray they may know the consolation of your love. And we pray for all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief but life eternal. Lord, in your mercy. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick and lift up all who are brought low, that we may find comfort knowing that nothing, that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We continue with prayers for healing for those known to us in our community and invite you as we read uh, to offer any other names either out loud at the end of my prayer or to write them in the column on the right. We pray this morning for Bill Hale, for Ede and Booty Baldrich, for Amy McComb, Max, Beth, John, Jimbo, Terry, Tim, Gary, for Karen, for Chris and Alexa Staub, for Michael, for Lena, <clears throat> for Margaret and Brian, for Matt and James, for Rachel Baldwin and their family, I invite you to offer any thanksgivings, either aloud or write them in the column or hold them silently in your heart. Be thankful for this morning. We pray for those who have to go to work to provide for all of us, and we also might as well, while we're at it, give thanks for them. For grocery store workers. I'm thankful for all the young people who care so much about the earth. Pray in thanksgiving for teachers and nurses. Ask a blessing on them. Uh, 
I'm thankful for the wise people that went before us that discovered digital ministries and technology because we can stay together even when we're apart. Amen. And not only the people who went before us, but the people who are with us right now, I'm looking at that upper left-hand corner of my screen <laughs> with Thanksgiving for Aaron and Chris and others. I'm, I'm thankful for our young people at, at St. James who are eagerly preparing to create worship for May 3rd and their excitement for being invited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Steve Coggins, I'm wondering if you would be willing to read the general Thanksgiving at page 101. A moment, please. Caught you off guard, sorry about that. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. <clears throat> and we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. 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 And in the joy of Easter and Christ's command that we love one another as he has loved us. Now all the vault of heaven resounds in praise of love that still abounds. Christ has triumphed, he is living. Sing words of angels and then clear. Repeat that song of glory here. Christ has triumphed, he is living. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, fill us, Lord, with dauntless love. Set heart and will on things above. Christ has triumphed, he is living. Now still he comes to give us life, and by his presence to all strife. Christ has triumphed, he is living. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us pray, holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its peoples quake, you know it's, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James Parish and other congregations here represented. Although at this time we're apart from each other, we pray your Holy Spirit will unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy. And above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should show the love and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Hey, and thanks for being with us this morning. Uh, standard, um, um, standard deal. If you want to be a reader, uh, 
give me a shout out and we'd love to have you uh, take part in readings in the days ahead. We will, over the weekend, I'll post the new readings for next week. Um, and uh, have a great day and we'll be back here tomorrow morning at 8. Okay. You Sounds too. Thanks, Jay. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Ryan. Hey, good music. Bye-bye. Good music. Pleasure Bye-bye. to be with you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for the music.